Morning, twice as many travelers are now setting sail. The cruise industry's comeback is bringing much needed business back to the Bay Area. Intersides Beth Rousseau is still live at the port because she has not set sail on that cruise mm. that she says she was going to. <laughs> Well, I'm going to. I've just got to run home, get my passport, and I'm waiting to board. Let me tell you that. So just keep in mind, this time last year, there were no cruises setting sail from here at Port Tampa Bay or anywhere else for that matter. Now leaders here at the port say they expect those numbers to continue to keep climbing. More and more travelers are setting sail from Port Tampa Bay. New numbers from AAA show bookings are twice as strong as this time last year. With the pandemic, I always thought it was going to be like, a, I guess, a struggle. Sebastian Rivas, owner of Milking It in Channelside, is thrilled to be welcoming more cruise passengers into his shop. You can definitely tell the difference between local and cruises. Each cruise that docks at Port Tampa Bay has a $300,000 impact on the local economy. But the senior director of development says the ships bring more than just money. Frankly, it's jobs. You know, the, the cruise business supports jobs in Tampa Bay. He tells me pre pandemic, 1.1 million passengers were cruising out of Tampa. He doesn't expect this year's numbers to reach that strength, but believes they'll get back to that capacity by 2023. In the meantime, other activity is picking up. With all the demand going on uh, in Florida, the I 4 corridor, uh, there's just such demand for for goods, whether it's building materials, consumer goods um, that really help us get through this uh, pandemic and the dip in the uh, cruise business. For Rivas, any growth is good news. It's really important because obviously with the promotion and everything, just the store itself and everything leads to tourism too. So and it's right here by the port. So of course it helps. So again, back to pre pandemic numbers by 2023 and the leaders at the port here say that they are always looking to expand the cruise industry out of Tampa Bay. So don't be surprised if you see that in coming years. We're live this morning, Beth Russo, eight on your side.